Hi and welcome back to StepbyStepGuitarTuition.com This is the first lesson in the Step 2 module for improvers and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to play bar chords using A major and A minor chord shapes. We've already looked at barring E major and E minor shapes and hopefully you find those a little easier by now. Don't forget you can refer to your lesson notes where you'll find all the relevant information that you need. Firstly make sure the neck of the guitar is pointing upwards slightly and quite high and next form an A major chord but instead of using your first, second and third fingers uh, use your second, third and fourth fingers to form the chord so that your first finger is free uh, for the bar. Then carefully move the chord shape up the fingerboard one fret to the next fret so that all three fingers are in the third fret and then carefully lay your first finger across the first fret just in line with the fret wire try and keep your fingers straight and keep your elbow low and the neck high press hard and strum and because this is an A chord you're going to strum from the fifth string the A string press hard and strum ok let's see that in close up start by forming the A major chord with your second third and fourth fingers in the second fret and then carefully move up one fret keeping the same shape lay your first finger across all six strings and press hard and strum from the fifth string from the A string Now let's try the same technique with an A minor chord. So again start by forming the chord but this time form it with your 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers. So your 1st finger is free. Carefully move the chord up 1 fret. Your 2nd finger should be in the 2nd fret. And your 3rd and 4th fingers should be in the 3rd fret. Next lay the bar down. Don't forget to make sure your neck is up. The neck of the guitar is up. And your thumb is resting on the back of the neck and not coming up over the top and also keep your elbow low and lay your first finger cr across and press hard and again because this is an A minor chord shape you're going to play from the A string or the 5th string press hard and strum let's see that one in close up form the A minor chord with your 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers Carefully move up one fret into the second and third frets and then lay your finger down across the first fret in line with the fret wire and press hard five strings from the fifth string. Now let's look at naming the chords as we move them up and down the fingerboard. So starting with the A chord Play it with your 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers, move up 1 fret so that your fingers are in the 3rd fret, lay your 1st finger across the 1st uh, fret to form the bar, and remember with the A chord, strum from the um, A string, the 5th string. Now because we've moved the, the chord up 1 fret, using the chromatic scale we can work out the name of the chord. The note that comes after A in the chromatic scale is A sharp or B flat. So this chord is called A sharp or B flat major. You can use any of those names at this point. If we move up another fret to the second fret, so that our bar is in the second fret, um, this chord is a B chord. And if you move up again to the third, you've got the chord C. And that's the same as playing open C. Same chord. And if you move up to the fourth fret, you have C sharp major or D flat major and moving up to the fifth you have D which is the same as playing open D D major open D and up another fret to the sixth D sharp or E flat and up another fret to the seventh and you have E which is the same as E as open E. Obviously that sounds a little bit low there because you're getting the low notes on the lower strings but believe it or not they're the same chord E 
major, E major. If you move up another fret to the 8th fret, at this point it starts to get quite difficult to squeeze all of those three fingers into that one fret. So at this point, what you want to try doing is with your third finger or your little finger, hold those three notes down with the one finger, like that, and just play the four the four inside strings so that you're missing the top string and the bottom string. Just playing the A, D, G and B. Or you can try that with your little finger or even, even use the two fingers to press your third and fourth finger. And if you move up again that, one, that was an F chord that at the 8th fret F and if you move up again F sharp or G flat and if you move up again you have G and that's another way of playing open G Obviously that sounds a little bit higher because we're using the high notes of the fingerboard. But they are the same chord. G sharp, if you move up another fret, you have G sharp or A flat. And the last one at the 12th fret is A. Which is an octave higher than the A chord played open. Now let's uh, apply that same principle to the A minor chord shape. But just remember that because it's a minor chord, you need to add the, the minor name onto the end of the chord. So if we start with A minor and play it with your second, third, fourth fingers, move that up one fret and lay your first finger across the first uh, fret. The next note in the chromatic scale from A is A sharp. So this chord that we're playing now is called A sharp. Because it's a minor chord, you need to add that onto the end, so you'd call it A sharp minor or B flat minor. And if you move up again, the next note in the chromatic scale is B. And because it's a minor chord, you would add that on B minor. The next note in the chromatic scale is C, so you have a C minor chord, and then C sharp minor or D flat minor. And at the 5th fret, D minor. And that's the same as open D minor. The 5th fret, D minor. Move up to the 6th, D sharp minor. Or E flat minor. At the 7th fret, you have E minor. And with this one, you could also play the open E string, because obviously that's an E note. And at the 8th fret, you have F. F minor, at the ninth F sharp minor or G flat minor, at the tenth G minor, at the eleventh G sharp minor, and then lastly at the twelfth A minor. So now you can play all 12 major chords and all 12 minor chords using A and A minor shapes, as well as all 12 major and minor chords using E and E minor shapes. And we looked at that in the previous module. And as you practice moving those shapes up and down the fingerboard, you'll become faster at locating them and naming them. Also it gives you the choice to play chords in different areas of the fingerboard. For instance, you could decide to play an open D chord at the 5th fret with an A shape. Or you might decide to play at the 10th fret with an E shape. Also you could play a G minor at the 3rd fret with an E minor shape. Or you could decide to play at the 10th fret with an A minor shape. As I said earlier, bar chords aren't the easiest chords to play, so if you struggle with them at first, remember you're not alone, and they will get easier if you keep practicing them. you just got to remember to keep the neck high, and keep your elbow low. Keep your thumb on the back of the neck, and keep your first finger straight. So that's it for this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson two, 
where I'll show you some alternate major and minor pentatonic scale patterns. I'll see you then.